Yo, 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 this is King Ernie coming to you guys live and direct. First and foremost, make sure you go get that honorable cream. Y'all see the shine in the bed, right? I just got finished using the honorable cream. Y'all know how we carrying it. We got the honorable. And I said the honorable CMOS. We got it here, man. Live and direct. I want for everybody to understand. VIP honors get you your CMOS. Two, three days. It's via cash yet. But guess what? It comes to you in a one or two days if you're in Pennsylvania somewhere. Anywhere else, two days. I'm not letting it go more than that. Unless it's something that dire in need or the post office is closed. Like today. The post office is closed in Philadelphia. I was in there for the last three weeks. When I go, it was closed. In Delaware, they be staying open a little longer. So at the end of the day, forgive me, but at the end of the day, I got some mind to snatch. Let's go somewhere else. Beanie Siegel, the Broad Street Bully, the gangster of the gangster, the one who we look to as, damn, he, you know, he, he held Philly down, man. Even was like bullying things, even in the industry, when he was a part of it. But to get on a stand after being shot is a no-no. That's number one. How did you make it to court? I don't care if he was underage. In this case, you wasn't underage. You, you're no different than Bosco the way I claim to see it. If I said that Bosco is a rat, right, for getting on a stand and testifying like his mother said, right, what are you when your lawyer, your paid lawyer, says somebody shot him, my client, and um, I had to cross-examine beans, and guess what? My client said spank. They find lies in you? You've been shot and you also tell him? I mean, what's going on here? Is this why old skin on vast quest don't want to be a part of state property? Is these the things that are going on that none of us have knowledge of? Are we being blinded and, you know, these kids are being tricked into believing they put the stomach in the lap down with none of the mat, the sun to come out and all that? Come on, man. How? Dudes often do I for you, man, while you're on your deathbed, man. I was one of them people, Aki. Come on, I'm off in Dubai and you a rat? Come on. Yeah, some going to say, yo, as a Muslim, you, yeah, alhamdulillah, we can. But I don't want to be going to a lawsuit panel with the island about a guy who can't handle his own responsibilities. I'd rather him do it. Or his mother, or his father, his family, his friends. Because at the end of the day, I'm not trying to get the ball no type of honor, which way soever. Because I don't carry it like that. I make sure you guys understand who I am. And I make sure that you look at me and understand that if you like me or not, I'm coming a hundred with it. I'm not going to speak unless I seen the work. You see? And at the end of the day, when looking at that, what I looked at and then getting an article and seeing that Fortune Out of Perry and a lot of other people took it out of their blogs and things of that nature, it, it, it mind boggles me. It makes me think about that case you caught. With the juice and the pistol, it's like, how does a man, after having a one joint for carrying um, a gun and being a convicted felon, then double back on it again with another with a pint of sip on it? Come on, man. Something ain't coming out right. And guess what? A lot of you dudes are scared to speak up because y'all scared of the man. Man, y'all scared of humans. You hear me? Well, I'm not scared of a human on with no way level. I don't care if the nigga was 9 9 one million pounds, mine is intact. We're going to figure it out somehow, some way. Win, lose, or draw, I'm still going to be me. But you ain't going to dishonor me and think that I'm not going to dishonor you back. And at the end of the day, I feel as though this is a kick in my face, beans. It's a kick in my face, you know. And after you kick in my face, I grab your foot, swing you around with one arm, beat your head like that, and frisbee you back to me. And catch you with the other hand and put you all on my knee and break your back. You can never get your honor back. You're a dishonorable cunt. And I'm going to give it to you raw and direct the same way I gave it to any other rat. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you think you are. I don't care where you be. I don't care who you are around. And at the end of the day, if you are a rat, I'm calling you out on it, man. Dude's feeling bad. You're getting snuffed up. Beat all up. Dudes trying to ah, be coming around my brother, putting your arm around him, talking about you the creed got the crown. You can't put your arm around a brother like 
A.R. Ag that stood on all principles and never folded? He never folded, not one time, huh? Even in an innocent state. You dudes ain't the same, man. You dudes phony, man. You dudes is coming out, talking to shoot them up, bang, bang. How you swing with the bang, bang and all that, but you a rat, huh? You a rat. Where's the honor in that at? Now I see why all the New Yorkers were saying, take care of your own background first. Oh, I see why now. Oh, okay. This is what it is. Well, I want the New Yorkers to understand this too. A lot of them. How would I supposed to know all these rats are rats? Huh? What, I walked with these dudes? No. Anybody I know was a rat is because I was in a can with them or when they came home, their pepper dropped in my hand. But from somebody that I might love that I was in a can with that we may have honor a dude or two. But you dudes are the worst, man. You dudes are claiming honor and respect. I see why that boy was kind of like, uh, when it came down to me, he was waking up every morning trying to figure out when it will my honor be snatched? When would everybody know? When would it be a big thing? When would King Ernest specifically snatch it? Come on, man. It's good dudes, Muslims, man, that's around, man. Swinging with you dudes, man. Your dudes honor ain't intact at all. Y'all going state to state, roughly Philadelphia, with stains on your jacket, man. Y'all need to take them individuals that are part of the group that have no honor and replace them with the men that have honor because our youth are watching. I care what you say about me. I don't care who don't like me. That's the thing. At the end of the day, if I respect you, if I loved you, if I honored you, if I looked at your music and I was really actually me, King Gurner, being a fan of the music and you a rat, no, nah, mm -mm, but I should have known. I should have known. See, you know what ends up happening? The rat conscience begins to beat him up so bad and so horrible, right? That person, that individual, begin to take L's from the universe. So, the things that were happen are all a part of the clutter. Don't, I'm never going against that, alhamdulillah. But I want y'all guys to understand, you get back what you dish out. I know, I've gotten back a lot of what I dished out in life. Huh? Come on, man. I'm not these dudes faking like, oh, I've never been in trouble before in a rip. I have been in trouble and still punished the individual. Bottom line, I had faith in a lawsuit panel with the idol will bring me out of any situation. 10 against 1, 100 against 1. You must have been seen the battle of butter. And you guys are going in front of these white people and turn over just about anything out of fear. But yet, everybody out here in these streets came to be shoot them up, bang, bang, murders, but you fear everything. How is that? You, you, you use a killer. But you fear everything. You know what I used to hate? I hate a dude that disrespect their mom. I hate that. Disrespect their mother, then come in the streets and be a sucker. I had a cut like that. I carried him until I couldn't carry him no more. You guys deserve to be carried. Now I'm looking back and I remember him being in that jail cell and I'm hearing about Mike Knox, who I grew up with, punishing him. And I was like, damn, I thought what happened like that, you know. But goddamn, it was a rat. Where, 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 where are we at with it? Youngins, what are we doing? We're coming away from the streets. We're walking towards this trash. Your biggest gangsters, the ones who you think they have the most honor, is rats. You want to stick around and be amongst this? Huh? You're damn near putting your, yourself in a position to be encountered and told on right away while in the midst of the crime. So why choose crime? That don't make no sense. Get you some honorable gold. Look, get you some gold, right? Some honorable sea moss. Put it in your veins and keep on and don't look back to these suckers. Because guess what? That lock you up. That lock you up. Yeah, let's get down to it. That lock you up. Or... A lot of dudes will do this, go ahead, young and you take the case. You know, which is honored when it comes down to a certain effect. If this is your folks and your family and you're sucking in a big situation, but for a young to be running around with a dude that he might think is an OG, end up having to take cases for these rats, why even be a part of it? Back up out of it, young and run. Run the opposite way. I don't care if you sell. Candy. I didn't see dudes in the federal penitentiary sell damn um, Jolly Rancher lollipops for 50 cents and all that. And you mean to tell me I ain't trying to get back out here? 
I don't care. Dude told me, are you sell Seamoss? I said, I sell it very well. I sell tons of it, alhamdulillah. Those million bricks I couldn't get in the streets, yeah, I'm getting hundreds of thousands of them and at Seamoss. See, it's not about the things you missed and fumbled. It's about you recovering the fumble and bringing it all the way in to say the honorable touchdown. You hear me? Never leave your honor. You do something wrong. Something wrong happened to you and you in these streets. Accept it or get the hell out and never come back to it. I'd rather see you run as a sucker than turn around and get on a stand as a rat. I'm King Gurner from the Honor Your Life campaign. Young Gunners, stop recycling the crime. See, the rat will teach you to keep going back and forth to jail. That's what the rat will teach you. All younger than ain't nothing. You think, damn, I'm do another 10, I'm going to do another 10. Yeah, because the rat so-and-so, Mike Keys, the rat, or Tuffy, the rat, or one of these rats, they done it and they came home, but you just didn't know he was a rat. So you get to doing a dub, you're like, God damn. That's why it was so easy for him. He's a rat. So he's in and out of jail, recycling crime that the government is allowing him to do. Giving him passes. Go do you the same way they give a pass to those kittens that killed Malcolm X. Come on, y'all. What are we doing here? We're going to give up some honor, some truth, or we're going to keep faking? Or well, everybody just coming here for content? Well, King Gurney ain't just here for the contact. That's why y'all rarely see me sometimes. I got people calling my phones, elders. Yo, King Gurney, we need you there. And at the end of the day, I've been in my A. Because I've been doing the right thing in life by fixing my own life and becoming something that they thought they could touch that they can't. That only a law can make sure. Yeah. You start building a coin, you start building a fort. When you start building a fort, you understand that whenever it's go time, it's go time. But you rather stick on that path or that road of pure honor. That's by pleasing Allah subhanahu with the Isla. You're a Christian, do your church thing. Whatever you do, you a Jew, you a Catholic, go do you. We'd rather you go into the masjid, alhamdulillah. But now you want to go the other way? Whatever it is that keeps you out of the streets, away from these suckers, do it. And then maybe I'll also kind of what the highlight give you some free time or some space to understand of his oneness. I'm King Gurner from the Honor Your Life campaign. I changed my life by taking this. And guess what? My brothers, my friends, my family members, same thing. Because we all, we carry with honor because our honor is totally intact. There is not a stain. These lingos, these conversations, the way we do everything is natural who we are. Who are you? Because thus far, we're finding out like guys like Beanie Seagal. It's nothing but a character. And it hurts my heart as a Muslim and as a man. Destroyed with everything I ever thought about the scene and the music and the ah, ah, the sip, how he carried it. It broke me down a day, young men. Don't get disappointed like I did. Don't let your OG or your homie or somebody you like, damn, I'm honoring everything he doing, disappoint you, man. There are many that disappoint, but there are others that are never disappoint you. Cherish your friends, cherish your brothers. Cherish that one that tell you if you get locked up, man, go ahead and do that time, man. We got you, man. Just come home and change your life around. Cherish that. Cherish the OG that used to be out here, man, that might be on crack somewhere. It's not like you don't do this, that, and the third. Cherish that. Your style said, learn my, he said he learned his best from a peasant. Always seems present. You know what I mean? Always seems pleasant. Happy to be present. You dig what I'm saying? Start going in that direction, young because these dudes town got no honor. And if y'all want y'all skin nice and clear like King Gurner's skin is, y'all gonna have to get the cream. That's number one. Number two, you're gonna have to get the honorable soup. There's no way around it, man. We got the best of the best, man. Wash that dishonor out of your body, man. Long as you ain't rat, long as you ain't tell, long as you ain't hiding what you are, you have honor with me. King Gurner, live and direct.